Find the commune. Strange trend. Oh! Father Kyle! I want to get this, because this is an easy one, actually. We don't even need to fight them. Um, Hawking at a cluster. We're going to the sentry system. Let's go to the sentry system. Where is it? There it is. Century. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise. The Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Edda cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. Multi-purpose somewhat translucent omni-gel. To the wacky waving tune. Yeah, we gotta have something that goes with O, though. Like, I don't know. Um... Um, like, it's gotta have the ah, uh, like, sound for it, right? Like, I don't know how you do that with how many O words you can do here. Overreacting. Okay. See? O words. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed him. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection, and they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. Gotcha. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers killed him. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a model soldier, but something happened to him at Torfin. Too many Elias soldiers died under his command. Couldn't cope with the guilt. His psych evaluation showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. I might be able to end this without violence. You serve with him. He might listen to you. But he's already killed two Alliance representatives. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. Hack it out. Miss loved it. The, the map music returns. Hello? More heavy metals. Nothing in the asteroid belt. The Rapto. Medallion recovered on a gas giant? How? How did that happen? How do we recover a medallion on a gas giant? <laughs> They're saying Watch Dogs Legion comes out October 29th. I'm going to need to replay the first two. I'm so stoked. I, I kind of, I guess, regret not investigating uh, Watch Dogs because you like it a lot. So I must have missed something big. I'm going to, I don't know. I have it. I have it, though. That's the thing. Like, I have one and two. You know? So, like, I could play them. I just, like, I, I started playing one. I think I maybe got, like, halfway through it, even. And then for two, we had, like, one stream. That was it. Pressrup is the moon of Clendagon. It's a frigid, barren world with an extremely thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. The crust contains plentiful deposits of heavy metals. The Alliance has open bidding for the moon's mineral rights, but exploitation will be complicated by the system's proximity to the five kiloparsec ring around the galactic core. 
The ring is an area of intense star formation and too dangerous to safely travel. So Prestrup is where we're going here. And Prestrup has a Thresher Maw, so we are going to want to uh, be careful with that. We will not need to really fight anyone major for this, though. So I'm going to take the same squad for decryption and electronics purposes. But uh, really, we don't need to do anything as long as we stay away from the Thresher Maw. Universally usable, amazing, adaptable Omnigel. Works if you say it with a bit of a drawl. Universally universally usable, amazing, amazing, adaptable Omnigel. It's the U and the uh. Like if you, it, actually, I think if you went with all A's, like amazingly adaptable Omnigel, that, that does work. The universally usable. And it had to be like universally usable, amazing, adaptable Omnigel. It's also a bit of a tongue twister, right? Okay, uh, Thresher Maw is right next to us. We don't need to worry about that. So we're just going to stay away from it. Um, there's nothing interesting over there either, I don't think. So let's go this way. They're good games. Legion, I think, is going to be the best if they pull it off and recruit everyone for permadeath of the characters. That's what I'm most excited about. The fact that you can recruit anyone at all, including... What's the... Albion, right? The security force that's, like, the ultimate antagonist. You can recruit their own people to your cause. That's pretty sweet. That's great. Cool stuff there. It's great. Keep going. Spectre status recognized. Spectre status recognized. Tier three out of your mind. And you're also freaking 32 months. Zero, you are a champion. An absolute champion. Hat tips for Zero Amura Blazer. Thank you for that incredible. Like, that's a. That's amazing. Thank you so much. 32 months at tier three? What? Snipers? I'm sorry? You guys have snipers? Oh dear. I feel like you guys are uh, underestimating the... Uh, you're underestimating my, uh, my driving skills. Or not. Or I'm underestimating you guys. Oh, I've got this guy stuck under me again. Oh, I'm going to die because of this. That's bull. That's bull. Look at this. Look at this asshole. Yeah, die. Get off my bumper. Freaking bug. Where's my windshield wiper? I got to wipe this thing off. It made my it made the Mako fly for a little bit though. That was kind of fun. It was basically just flying in the air because of this guy. Get off my... Sh wow. Actually, this might be an exploit, because I think I can fly now. Pretty sure I can stay in the air. Oh, he's gone. Darn it. <laughs> oh, well. Stuck up... The bug stuck on my grill. All right. So we need to get... Uh, see, the, the sniper's going to be a problem. They're so far away right now, that sniper's gonna be a problem. I don't think I actually have to go this way, though, do I? I mean, there's nothing really here. Except for the experience. How close am I to leveling? Pretty damn close. I actually do want to take them out. I can level here if I take them out. Um, I just don't want the... I just don't want the Mako to die. That sniper's gonna hit super hard. I might just sit here for a second. He's freaking stuck in my grill. It was actually kind of funny. I need more water. Mm. You know what? That's what we can do. I will back this up so it's safe. And then I'll let it sit here. And I'll go get some water. We'll take a quick break. Got myself a quick bite to eat. There's still a whole bunch more here to eat. But I'm going to probably space it out into cutscenes and stuff. Okay, so let's see if we can't uh, dispense of these guys real quick for the little extra experience that comes with it. 
I'm gonna take the sniper out first if possible. Alright, now we can get all this stuff done. So you, anti-tank, lift. You, singularity there. Now they're all up in the air. We can do away with them. Away with you. Away. You. Hi. There. I will destroy you. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Yep. Get that explosion. Get this explosion. Get uh, this warp. Will do just fine. I will destroy you. So violence. So much violence. Why are you guys not shooting? Are you are you going passive now? What is this? What are you doing? That mercenary is basically toast. I don't know why my team isn't shooting them. It's so weird. Yeah, no shit. Can you shoot them now? Locked and loaded. I hope you are. Can you do that? You're not gonna shoot them? Why? What is? What are you doing, guys? Hello? Can I help you? Pick him up. Oh, we left the Rocketeer over there. All right, let's go get him. Millet mercenary anti-tank. So you're like, you know, trying to get me specifically. You're pretty brave there, Mr. Mercenary. Pretty brave. I will destroy you. Uh-huh. You said that already. I'm on it. I'm on you. Heading to position. And go. There's the level up. Let's get, uh, we'll get shield boost. We have a nice skill, a new skill for ourselves. It's good. Spectre training on the next. Liara will pump uh, your your throw. I really want you to max that out. And then we have advanced overkill for Garrus. Cool. 148 items. What is this? Uh, come on, get out of my way. Light armor for human. All right, we'll I'll take it. It might be good. What is it? Is it okay? Gladiator. It's, it's It sucks. Get rid of it. What about this one? That sucks. Get rid of it. What about you? you? You suck too. Get rid of it. I would rather sell these things, honestly. We have so much Omnigel. Well, for now, we have so much Omnigel. I mean, it, it may come a time where we don't have that much, but we have to use a bunch of it. Just shoot him. Come on now, lift him up. Put you in stasis. Come on guys. This is ridiculous. He's taking like no damage at all. Pretty silly. How is he taking nothing? He's gone. He's gone. He's gotta be. He's gotta be dead. He had, like, no health left. There he is. He's gone. Last guy. He's shooting me, so I'll just go barrier up real quick. And as soon as I can get there targeted, hit him. He's done. He'll just be CC'd forever now. Let's get rid of his shield. I can't do it with Liara, because that's what it is. Shield is gone. Now it's all about you, isn't it, dude? Yep, lift him up. And hit him with this and this. He's gone. He's out of here. Home run! Home run. Okay. That took way longer than it should have, but it is what it is. 
What mission are we on? Um, this is on. Pr this is press rep. Press rep. We are. I want to show you which one it is. We are trying to talk to Major Kyle. I think we're good, Shepard. So Major Kyle is a soldier that we served with, and he kind of went a little nutty. The stresses of battle just didn't quite go with him very well, and ultimately he kind of ended up being more of a burden for the Alliance than an asset to, you know, have to hold in sickness and in health. And anyway, in any case, so uh, they ended up sort of stripping him of his command because he wasn't really fit to lead anymore. And over time, he just kind of get a little bit, a little bit. This is the Alliance's story, not really from him. We're about to talk to him. Um, but in any case, Major Kyle needed to find a new group of people. He was honorably discharged, but um, he was stripped of his command and stuff. So, so he found he needed to find a new group of people that would accept him and stuff. And he kind of came across these biotics and sort of formed a bit of a commune. And now he's seen as kind of like a like and kind of like a prophet for these biotics that have also been mistreated and sort of lost their way. And so this, these group of biotics we're gonna go see here, uh, they, you know, they, they've got the typical, we've been mistreated, we feel, you know, like we don't belong in this world kind of thing. And um, the Alliance has sent two different waves of people to try to talk to him, to try to get him to stand down, to try to get him to maybe come home, you need some help, etc. And every time the Alliance sends somebody, they never come back. And the, the assumption is that Major Kyle and his followers uh, in his little cult that he has now have killed the Alliance operatives. And so Admiral Hackett has sent us to go and talk to him and say, hey, yo, look, this is getting serious now, okay? You're, we're sending a Spectre to come and see you now. So uh, yeah, that's time to stand down and either end it with violence if we, if we must, but we're going to, of course, try to talk to him peacefully and try to get him to surrender and stand down. So that's the backstory for the uh, for the mission that we're on. I hope that makes sense for you, Ben. There you go. <laughs> His name is Major Kyle, but they're now calling him Father Kyle. So... Loves me some homemade chicken noodle soup. It's so good. Like, I just want to eat it all. After this mission, I think while we're talking to... We're going to talk to our crewmates again uh, after this. So we don't miss any, like, dialogue points and stuff throughout the story. For, like, character and relationship progression. And so uh, while we're talking to our crewmates again, I'll probably eat some chicken noodle soup. Or I might just turn the webcam off and eat while we're talking to them. Uh, okay, wrecked mining site, and there's actually two anomalies here. It's like the first is down position. here, wrecked mining vehicle. We can examine that vehicle. Discovery. The front of the rover is crumpled from the impact. A glance inside tells you the occupants, probably a team of illegal wildcat miners, are dead. Debris is still sliding down the furrows left by the tires, silent in the near vacuum atmosphere. And these guys have some ancient debris. Turian insignia. Great. More Turian insignias. We got to get... Yeah, we have pretty pretty close to getting all of those by now, right? How many more do we have left to get? 12 out of 13. One more left. Okay. Good. We got some debris up this way. Maybe that'll be an insignia too. Who knows? Makes sense. Thanks. There you go. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, little backstories like that that people don't really, like, fully appreciate sometimes, you know? They just go, oh, that's a mission, that's experience, we're gonna do it. But, like, there's some really great characters in this game that are... They're all, they're so, like, at the moment, they're not really, like, huge consequences for, you know, the big picture of the story, but the little stuff is... is pretty well fleshed out. Redeploying. The little stuff, the little things. Everyone's got their own, you know, sort of agenda, I guess, in that sense. Let's just get rid of these things for Omni Gel. Okay. 
Okay, I think that's pretty much everything on the map. Uh, it's possible I missed something, but um, we'll go to the biotic compound. Onwards. And again, I don't think we'll have to fight anyone here. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk Major Kyle down without violence. So we have the. We have our charm. This is why it's so important. If anyone's maybe new to the game or um, is thinking about playing it yourself later and stuff, it's always a really good thing. Um, it's really important to get this charm or intimidate if you're going renegade as high as you possibly can. It's really important to do that. And I'm almost thinking about like respecking her. I'm not going to, but like respecking her to get rid of that one intimidate score because that one intimidate is really kind of pointless to have. We could be repurposing that one point to something else. But it's not a big deal. Oh, we got uh, another mineral right behind the base, right there. Okay, I didn't hit anything of consequence. I was trying to go like this. But I didn't hit anything of consequence. There's nothing, nothing there. No enemies or anything. So, per your own amended rules, no reloads. But we have hit the gun. We did actually fire the gun. Whoops. Okay. Heavy metal. Gotta be getting pretty close to that. Also, we're at the point now where we're getting paid $10,000 for every heavy mineral. All the minerals are paying us, too. It's great. Okay, we'll whip around. And we'll just save it here real quick, because this compound is not violent on the outside. It's only violent if you don't have the charm to deal with it for the inside, so... We shouldn't need our weapons here. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. He needs my help. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. Heading to position. So that bypasses a lot of stuff. A lot of fighting stuff. All these biotics would be... They, they're really strong. For our challenge, it would be very difficult to fight these. Because they have that stun. They, their warp will stun you, and they'll just stun lock you. They'll take turns hitting you to the ground and disabling your skills. And then having to fight all of them in here, too, right? All the cultists. But again, if you have the... If you have the charm, if you can talk your way through it... Storage locker. Like, I'm full. My inventory's full, and I'm still hacking things like this. Pistols. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end up selling a whole bunch of stuff to the guy that's on the... To the guy that's on our ship. I'm gonna sell it all to him. Can you go back to the Citadel and sell them instead of gelling the stuff? You said credits would be more helpful than the gel. Yeah, I can. I can sell it to the guy on a ship, too. I don't even need to go to the Citadel for that. I'm gonna go this way first. Kinetic buffers. We'll take those. Malfunctioning objects. Uh-huh. We'll take those. I have 148 items. Is that so? Is there one more thing back here? I guess not. Okay, let's go talk to Father Kyle. Just in case I mess this up. I don't think I will, but just in case I mess it up. It's good to always save as many times as you can. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me. They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. 
I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you are endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins too? No, this, this was my fault. My children are innocent, pure. Please, I never meant for this to happen. I, I'm sorry. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. Wait, if my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. Okay, I believe you. I'm gonna trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Your pilot can have an Alliance Command Patrol pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Says you should return to the Normandy and notify the Alliance of Kyle's surrender. They'll want to dispatch a ship to take him into custody. Yeah, so I come in there. I say, okay, yeah, come and get him. So then other people come down here and he fights them anyway. <laughs> The end. <laughs> nope, I guess we probably should have killed him. Darn. We knew that spelt trouble. Uh, let's go ahead and reduce it all to Omnigel since I don't have another choice. Also, I'm kidding. That's not exactly, that's not what's going to happen. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not a spoiler if it's fake, right? <laughs> Just let it happen, right? Charlie, are exploits okay for the challenge? What do you mean? What kinds of exploits? Okay, let's inform Admiral Hackett of what has happened. And then I think you could probably do the Geth Activities one. That's gonna be really difficult. And then after we do that, I think we're going to Novaria. I like this investigation, though. I like both of these. These are multi-part missions. But I also really want to progress. I really want to go to Ovaria, too. Ahern has told you to talk to Akron. I, I wish I could get this off. Um, we're not doing Pinnacle Station, so that's just not going to happen there. Um, so Major Kyle, we need to return to the Normandy we have. We need to just activate the map screen, and that mission will be completed. Um, talk to Gareth, that is on the Citadel. Missing Marines, talk to Kohoku on the Citadel. Actually, we should do the Missing Marines pretty soon. We should go back to the, the Citadel pretty soon because Missing Marines is a multi-part mission as well, kind of. Uh, we have, yeah, we probably should. We should do that because that's going to open up other things too. So I'm going to save it here. No, I'm not. I'm going to wait until after this. Message coming in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. That's what I do. Saving the galaxy. That's what I do. Uh, so I, I don't want to go back to the Citadel yet. Um, I do want to, I want to do, I want to talk to my crew. I want to do that now. I also want to find Dahlia for Nasana Dantius before going back to the Citadel as well. So I think we're going to spend a little bit of time with our, just talking to the crew really quick, seeing if there's um, anything else they have to say. I'm 
nearly 100% sure Liara has something to say by now. Uh, progressing that relationship if we choose to. I'm not sure if anyone else does. So we'll go... Uh, we'll talk to everyone else first, I guess, before Liara. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's got to be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorian. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. If you raise your Intimidate so you get the cell bonus and do Dr. Michelle's mission on the Citadel to any of the merchants and then buy back from her, you can get a positive increase in your investment. Yeah, it's because uh, she gives you that extra 10%. You took from Vernus. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. But I can't do that now. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first oh. contact. That's not a lot of time. To understand. Yeah, I'm not going to, though. It was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. So quiet. Well, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. So quiet. Why are you so quiet? I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed, you know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do, just something. And Vernus lost it, beat the crap out of me, kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon, right in my face. I cut loose, full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble, but I... I lost control. I killed him, Shepard. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. So basically what happened, Instructor, who's a Turian, disciplined people. He was a little overly harsh. Started to discipline a girl that he cared for. Lost control. Back and forth they went. Turian instructor basically beating him up. He did a big old biotic kick to the, you know, this is a guy that has a position at this school. Kicked him in the kicked him in the head with a biotic kick and snapped his neck. And uh, yeah, all that everything went to hell from there. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. More XP. All right, uh, Liara, I, I, I wanted to talk to Liara last, but she's right here, so let's just do it. Ooh, double meanings. Love that too. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Here. I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity. But those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. You make it sound almost mystical. 
A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge, identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. It is unlike any other experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. It sounds amazing. Are you saying... No! Oh no! Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The Union is more than just sex. It is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. Wait, are you saying this is your first time? I am only 106, barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over. I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Let's... let's talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. That's it. Alright, I'm gonna come down to the lower ground now. I wanna know if Rex is gonna give me his... Rex has a side quest. You have to, you have to talk to him for a little bit to to get him to tell you about it. But he has a he has something with uh, his family's armor. What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as. Such as I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. Sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. 
When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. So long, Rex. Shepard. That's like, that's all you had to say. After a story like that, it's just like, so long, Rex. Okay then. Tally, anything else from you? Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again, uh, so to speak. Hey, Greg. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Steren's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. So are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty Board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. You must get all kinds of special privileges. I probably had it easier than most growing up. But it's not all good. People like my father have enemies. And they're not above using me to get to him. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. Mm -hmm. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. What if we say at the galaxy? Is that big enough for you? The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian's ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the Veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own independently but i don't want this to get in the way of our mission shepherd first we stop Saren, then i'll worry about my own problems i should go see you later i love tally's arc growing up she does in the series her and liara both now liara she changes <laughs> liara's oh yeah she goes from i'm not sure of myself i'm just too young for this to Fear me, bitch. I am Liara. <laughs> Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can. And if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? 
Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. It'll depend on the situation. I'm not committing to anything until I've got him in my sights. Fair enough. Either way, I'm right behind you, Commander. Alright. We're going uh, up from here. And then... I don't know, are we doing Novaria tonight? Can't decide. Love how much of a badass Garrus becomes later on. Garrus is freaking cool. Parting the reason I'm planning on Liara romance for my Renegade run. Let me see. So, with our. Let's save it here for a second. 202 save files already? I think that's more save files than I've ever had in this game. I don't remember how many I had before. Let's mark, mark all the codexes as red. So our journal has only a few real assignments left. If we go to the Citadel, I'll want to have... I don't need all of these before going to the Citadel. Terrain emblems are almost done anyway. Slayer and ID tags are almost done too. The minerals. We are... We have more than enough gases. Just need the heavy metals, light and rare. And, like, this isn't inconsequential. It will help us in the second game, too. <clears throat> this is all for the Citadel. This is for Kohoku. This is for the fan. I think Conrad Werner would have more to say now. Before Novaria, I think he would. I'm pretty sure he would. Geth activities. Let's go and do thing for Nasana, and then after that I think we'll go we'll find Dahlia we'll do that and then I think we'll go to the Citadel do all that stuff and then to Novaria from there so Dahlia is in Artemis Tau and she's in the Macedon system Very loud. Whoops. Okay, that's our planet. So we want to go Prolon. Survey it. Matriarch writings. Let's go over here. Let's check the asteroid belt too. I kind of like the scanning that happens in Mass Effect 3. It's straightforward and it's it's simpler, but also it has a little bit of a rush to it. There's always that uncertain, like it's easy to control it, but, but like I guess uh, a newer player, an uninitiated player, it's it gets a little bit of a rush to it. Okay, this is the planet where Dahlia is on. This will be a tough fight. There will be. Uh, there's going to be uh, Krogan, and it's going to be a very tough fight. 